Let's talk drug and alcohol testing and family law matters. There are many ways to test for substance use or misuse. Hair follicle tests are often requested to detect use or misuse of illicit substances and prescription medication without prescription. Hair follicle tests can detect a history of use over a period of three months, six months, and sometimes longer than this. These tests are good to identify a past behavioral issue, in addition to the level of use and also a reduction in use over time. These tests can be expensive. Locally, places like Chromos offer this service. Hair tests can also be used to detect excessive alcohol consumption up to a period of three months. It's common to ask the testing facility to test for both substances and excessive alcohol use at the same time, if both issues are live in the matter. Another common test for excessive alcohol use is the use of a CDT test, a carbohydrate deficient transferrin test. CDT test is a blood test usually taken from the donor's arm. The detection period is about two weeks, so shorter than the hair test. In my experience, the CDT test can be produced much faster than the hair follicle test. There can be quite big delays with obtaining the actual results from the hair, hair testing. These are just a few ways to test for substance use in family law cases. There are many other ways that I haven't touched on in this video. It's common in family law cases for there to be allegations of illicit substance or prescription substance misuse or excessive alcohol consumption. These tests can be good to disprove false allegations but also to confirm if what someone is alleging is true. Because the tests are objective, it's not he said, she said, it's scientific, objective evidence. The reason substance use or misuse is relevant to family law matters is because it can impact a person's capacity to parent, therefore placing children at risk of harm. Requests for testing can be made during settlement discussions or during actual court proceedings. If in court, it's up to the court to decide how long the drug testing is carried out and often depends which drug or drugs they're testing for. If you're a returning viewer, you'll know that I like to sprinkle some case law in my videos, so here we go. In the Sydney, Australia 2012 case of Vokic and Vlas, a judge made orders to restrict the mother's time with the children if she returned a positive drug test result. Ms Vlas and Mr Vokic married in 2000 and separated in 2009. They have twin children together, born in 2003. The wife has a history of drug use, particularly cocaine. In 2010 and 2011, the court ordered the mother to undertake hair follicle tests and she returned positive results for cocaine and meth. The parenting orders were made on the condition that Ms Vlas undertake drug testing and that her results are consistently negative. The mother and father were given equal shared parental responsibility of their two children. The judge made orders that the children live with their father and spend time with the mother, beginning at every Sunday and one afternoon per week with the mother and gradually increasing her time throughout the year. The mother was ordered to undertake supervised urine analysis every Monday for a period of 12 months and provide the results to the father within seven days. Mr. Vokic was given the ability to make requests for random urine analysis up to once a month for 12 months and the mother must comply within 48 hours of the request being made. After this 12-month period, the father may request random urine analysis no more than once every three months for a period of two years and the mother must comply within 48 hours of receiving the request. The mother was also required to undertake hair follicle testing once every six months in 2012 and 2013. The mother was not permitted to consume alcohol while the children were in her care. Both the mother and the father are restrained from consuming illegal substances at all times. If Ms Vlas failed to comply with the orders for drug testing or if she returned a positive result for illicit drugs, her time spent with the children would be reduced to two hours per fortnight under supervision at a contact centre. The mother was also required to attend drug and alcohol counselling. I'll pop the citation to this case down below and you can use Ostley to search this case for free. This is legal information, not legal advice. If you're going through separation, consider seeking legal advice from a trusted local family lawyer. What do you think about the outcome of Vokic and Vlas? Do you think the testing was too harsh or reasonable? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more law talk.